Now let's talk about which tools to use to produce certain kinds of masks. I think it's safe to make these generalizations. To make a selection that's based on an obvious shape that jumps out at you, use the shape selection tools. Like the rectangular or elliptical marquees chosen by typing M on the keyboard. The lesso, the polygonal lesso, and the magnetic lesso tool chosen by typing L. Or the pen tool and drawing a path. Type P on the keyboard and then select the second option in the options bar. This will allow you to draw paths that fit the shape of an object perfectly. Here is the path that I had saved for the structure. Paths are great because you can edit a selection precisely with the use of anchor points and selection handles that can be tweaked minutely to fit curves and geometric shapes. The pen tool interface does take a bit getting used to though, but once you're proficient with it, you'll tend to reach for the Swiss Army knife a lot. Luckily, when you're starting out, you can make a selection using a standard tool such as a magic wand and then click on the Make Work Path tool. Let me show you how. Once you have a basic selection, go ahead and click on the Make Work Path tool, and this creates a path for you. Then using the Pen tool, Command or Control click it to select it, and then you can access any of these Pen tool variations at the top to edit it, add anchor points, or remove them to make for a better fit. To make a selection based on color attributes, use the magic wand tool or the color range command in the select menu. The friendly magic wand is a good place to start. Here's the technique that I generally use. But first, did you know that the sample size setting in the eyedropper tool affects the magic wand selections? It does. I generally set it to a 3x3 pixel average or a 5x5 pixel average to influence the magic wand selections. Then set the tolerance value fairly low to start. You can always shift click areas that were not selected to begin with to add to the selection. It's pretty straightforward. Another tool that's very useful for this purpose is the color range command in the select menu. This is somewhat like an interactive magic wand because you can preview the mask it is building as you click with the eyedropper on the image. Again, I like to start with a low fuzziness value, which corresponds loosely to the tolerance setting in the magic wand tool. Click and then hold down the shift key to add to the narrow selected choice. Take it as far as you can and then slowly increase the fuzziness until you end up with a nice selection mask. Then you can use your handy selection tools to fill in the parts that were missing in the original selection.